EA Sports. Welcome to the Foot Daily Update, game. guys. My name is John Sims, and this is the reply to comments. If you guys are brand new to this, this is where we reply to comments every single day to our videos. This is going to be the episode on This Market is Nuts for March 31st, and then the March 31st reply to comments. So we'll be going through all this, guys. So if you have a question, you guys can reply to this or the daily content. Uh, this is coming out live right after the daily content from yesterday. And so we'll get right on into it, guys. But this is also a way for me to be able to speak to you and help you guys out so much. Uh, and just be able to reach uh, and understand you guys and, and try to help in, in any way I possibly can. So, and the more you guys pay attention, the more you guys know, and the more I keep you up informed and, and up to date, I do my absolute best so you guys never lose coins. I do my absolute best. And to know, guys, every single time you buy a player, there is risk involved. There is risk involved every single time you buy a player. But when you trust the stamp, you can throw that away when you trust the stamp guys there are 100 safe trades so make sure you guys keep up with the daily content but let's go ahead and get right into it guys jack garvio not hey man just want to say i appreciate the content what you're doing for the fifa community a lot of people do who do similar things regarding big amount of money for the service to, to us you do it so clearly and explain very well even doing the read your comments vid really shows how much you care for your community all love man and i have my notifications hey seriously thank you man 10k to 300 that's a that's insane man that's 30x small stats but dude you'll you'll keep growing and keep better and you're not wrong you're not wrong i actually used to charge the service and i was like why am i doing that it just it just didn't make sense and i honestly it's those people it, it's just it's not worth it and so guys this is actually much more in depth than what i ever did with my patreon this is more this is more content this is more information and I'm giving more tutorials, more, more, more. And it's all 100% free. And so I really appreciate it, Jack. It really, I think when when I have the community respect and understand, it means, it makes me motivated to continue every single day, every single day. So thank you, Jack. That was really, comp that was a big compliment, man. That's what that's what really makes, pushes me to keep continue. So thank you, man. Hey, John, I've been wanting to buy Team of the Year Diaz for a few weeks. Finally got the coins. Thank you to, by the way. Oh, of course, brother. Do you think I should buy him now or do you think his price is gonna go down with tots? Price will go down with tots, but it's all up to opportunity cost. The thing about it is once you get to a million coins, I suggest you continue to trade with that million coins because once you get to a million, that's when trading gets easy. So if you go and you buy a player and you go back to zero, then it gets hard again. So I suggest continue to trade and consider yourself, once you get to a million coins, consider yourself at zero coins. Okay, once you get to a million, all those investments are zero coins. Everything else, everything else, that's when you add, start adding up your content. So that's what I suggest, that's what I suggest. Went from 620, so I guess to break it down, Basically, I would continue to trade, and then once you get 1.7 mil or 1.8, whatever he's going for, then buy him. And by the time you get there, it may be tots season. And guess what? Then he may not be 900, he may be 700 or 600. So you save yourself 30% as well. And so what do you really do? Well, you just went from 1 million to 1.8 million, and then you save yourself 30%. So instead of being at, you know, maybe 300,000 coins now you're like at 1.5 so that's 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 where i look at the numbers but went from that's that's what i suggest but that's totally up to you totally up to you uh went from 620 to 720 boom flipping the informs ggs brother ggs that's what it's all about man almost like this is when i wish i could short the market dude max you're not wrong man you are not wrong but yeah, the market kind of went flat. And so uh, basically a promo would come out, shorting the market would be better for the promo. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't really think there would be very, I didn't think there would be pack supply. And so that that kind of threw me for a loop on typical promos. Love the new transition. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, brother. Dude, I, I love that one, man. That, that's, ins that's my favorite one. What is it? What is it right here? Boom. Or whoop, from here to here. Dude, I absolutely love this transition. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if the informants go down to 10 to 14, I think at 10 to 11, I think it just, uh, Jackson, 
just keep up to date with the daily content and I'll, I'll keep you informed on uh, where to invest in. But typically, uh, the closer they go to their uh, base, and sell, uh, base buy price, that's almost always, 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 always a good place to go. Fl Flinopino, I love it, man. Depends on the rating. Exactly. It totally depends. Like, uh, it really does. It really does. Like, the, eight, the higher rated they are, the lower they are, right? The better the deal. So, like, if you, if I was in between buying a 75 rated with good links or an 81 rated with bad links, I would go with the 81. Me personally, that's that's where I see it. Yeah, <laughs> David, you like that? <laughs> you never know who's listening. You never know who's listening. What do you think about the Varan? Uh, should I buy him for 17.5? Will he come up in price? Uh, I don't like to. I don't like to invest in. I don't like to invest in that type of player. Uh. I bet he did go up. He did go up, but you really make a margin. Let's see. What's the trend here? Down. That's the trend. Down. All the way down. Right? And so I don't like to invest on those. That's why it's just the trend goes way down. That's why I don't like to invest. I'd rather invest on an appreciating asset. I just packed 86. Too too many. Should I save him? I like to sell him, man. I like to sell him. Think about it. If you sell him and then you reinvest into like three, four, five different players... Get a lot more content. Got a lot more, a uh, lot more uh, return. Should I invest in Navas before the content? I don't know necessarily say that. I think you need an investment when supply is the highest. When supply is the highest. Well, this is a headache. It's like real trading. Yeah, no, I just have fun, man. I just have fun. It's all about fun. It's all about fun. And the more you listen, the more, the more, more you listen, the 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 you know the more it's uh it's it's easier to understand. The more you listen, the more it's easier. The less less challenging. What we say is, I saw my team weeks for 15, they rose 26, and I know, RIP, but profit is profit, right? Profit is profit. Profit is profit. I think League Un Tots got leaked. Uh, I haven't seen anything. League One Tots leak. Search it up. Uh, they're saying this is the oh that's FIFA 19 so that's I don't I don't think so I don't know I haven't seen anything I haven't really seen much I haven't seen much at all so I don't know thoughts on trading Jonathan Bamba 80 rated gold that's not for me but if you guys are gonna trade you want to flip baby flip yep anytime it comes to the gold market you don't want I don't like to hold through the content I like to flip before the content how do you know you can make how do you know who can make you coins 100 percent? it's called 10 years of experience 10 years of experience elite the goat uh there's a lot that's a very broad statement and then i have to go into a lot of my tutorial stuff which i am coming out with the tutorial uh playlist to try to help you understand market economics and basic market equilibrium and so it's really like I utilize uh, Bollinger Band, which is like an asset tool where it goes up and down the market. Uh, am I going to live on Twitch again? Yeah, I will at some point. I just I, I'm, I'm really busy right now. I'm just really, really busy. Um, that's that's the only thing. Mr. Chopper coming in first viewer. Yes, sir. I don't I don't understand why somebody would think it's a scam for me to give you the most accurate prediction day to day. Give, saying, hey, don't invest now. Wait for tomorrow. That's a scam. I'm a scam. I'm a scam because I'm telling you to hold off yesterday, right? <laughs> people, I tell you, man. People. 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 People talking crazy, huh? People talking crazy, huh? <laughs> I have around 10 Chessies and 20 Chiellinis. Which I sell. Man, I, I, I don't know. That's not my That's not my trade. That's not my trade. Player in month, SBC for the MLS. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I I haven't done enough. I don't do enough research on like uh, what's coming to really know and accurately predict this type of stuff. But I do know is whenever you're in a gold market, I don't like to hold through content unless I have a purpose. So if you're going to buy and s if you're going to buy something and flip something, you want to sell. Once you get to ten percent, anything over ten percent is greedy. Just remember that anything over ten percent is greedy. Always, always. So always flip. Flip, 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 flip. I bought a lot of Prim Silvers for 2000 uh, on Thursday. I'm going to sell on Sunday because I've been told the price is the lowest on Thursday and highest on Sunday. Should we do anything different? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't trade uh, Silvers. 
So I get I can only get to play about three to four a day. Is there any way to flip coins in limited period of time? Because I only get to play about three to four hours a day. Uh, here's here's a quick here's a good way I like to flip. Now the silver market's not where I like to be in. There's a very lucrative amount of coins in there, and you can make a lot of coins doing it. And so that's just not my trade method. I just don't like to do that. Uh, I just I it just it's bigger margins, slower returns. That's kind of what it is, but it, it you know it can average out, and there's opportunity costs where silver trades can be more ex more effective than than gold commons. But me personally, what I'd like to say is, um, if I'm going to be playing for three to four hours a day, and I want to be trading and playing, this is what I do. I trade for ten minutes. And I bid on fifty cards. Put them in the transfer list flip them put them on lazy list bid on 50 cards put them on the transfer list lazy list bid on 50 cards put them on the transfer list lazy list now we're about five to seven minutes eight minutes and then those last two minutes if some of those sold they sold i lazy list 50 100 coins over value on my gold commons and then i go play a match then i go play a match i come back to the match let's say 15 things sold i go lazy list boom play another match come back 20 minutes some sold, some didn't, some done. I just list what I bought. And so now I'm playing a game. I make about a thousand coins every 20 minutes. So, you know, every, you know, 30 minutes, I'm making about a thousand coins per match. So, you know, or about 500 coins per match. And so you get about a thousand coins an hour doing that, right? And so that's all chill or 2,000 coins an hour. That's cool. And then on top of that, you're, let's say you're flipping, uh, let's say you're about flipping. 30 cards every every in between every match and so you get about let's say what's 30 times 100 you know about 3k off of those three six nine thousand plus the two thousand so you make 11k an hour and you're just chilling and so by the time you play four hours of the game you know you make 50k on the day and you're chilling that that's one of the easiest ways to make coins is just chill about it just chill have have no have no motive just have no motive for things to sell be patient just flip just flip and just don't care you play a match 20 minutes later some sold some didn't and the more you get at the more you see sales come through the more you understand the market the more you can feel you can feel the market once once uh, like i always say once you can feel the market the game changes uh i know i have a question if i see the stamp in the market update do i need to buy and immediately flip or hold it until i see your video so whenever you see the stamp i like to say Whatever margin I say um, is typically where the buy point is. I talk about buy points specifically. I don't like to talk about sell points because that's when I can really dictate. That's when we, when we can really dictate the market because real realistically, uh, what is arbitrary is the is really the buy or the the sell points arbitrary. And so that's where we can get in trouble. Where I can get in trouble telling you guys. But if I say, oh yeah, you can buy him at eight fifty, you're good. Boom, pops right. I'm not going to tell you to sell at 1500 because look, he could go up to 1800. So I don't say sell there. What I say is once you hit 10%, you are in a big sell period. You're in a you're in an area for you get a return. And so anything over 7 or 10% is greedy, and that's why I always say. And so when I give you guys a stamp, I'm saying if you get that buy, that's going to guarantee you for the next 24 hours where that's going to go now a lot of times if, if you see that stamp usually that's its absolute base value if you see this that's that's more of a 24 hour to 48 hour trade you got guy you got a little bit of risk involved uh but typically if you buy right uh you'll you'll by the next episode you'll be able to see where that market's going to be at and so that's that's essentially the idea um but yes i try to explain everything as much as i possibly can hold until you're happy exactly flinopino's right on top of it Basically, the idea is that you see the stamp, it's almost like a brainless thought you could buy and then flip, right? That's the idea. That's kind of what we want to look at. But hi, boss, I just packed a war trade. Just uh, anyways, just sell once you hit 10% or once you have the next uh, investment lined up. Once you have the next investment lined up and you sell at 10%, you should be good. That's the idea. I just packed a war tradable, but I didn't. I don't know when to, when to sell them. Uh, I always say sell, man. Sell, 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 sell. And here's why. Here's why I always sell everything I pack if he's not usable in my squad. Here's why. Let's say you pack a guy that's 250,000 coins. Now, let's say he goes up to 300K, which on a tradable margin is a pretty good... Or what? 
285 minus 250,000. That's 35K. Whoa! You made 35K. But let's say it takes a week to two weeks to, to get that flip. So let's just say 10 days in general. That's 3,500 coins a day that you made off that. But that 250,000, let's say we sell right at 250K. So we multiply that 0.95 and that gives us a number. And then we invest into 81s at 11,000, which is a small margin. And we get 26 of those. And then we flip them all within, within we, we flip them all four times within those 10 days just four times 100 trades that's it nothing that's nothing that is nothing i can do that in an hour and so those 104 that we just bought at 11,000, they go up to 12.5 within 10 days we sell or wait uh let's say okay so yeah we uh, uh that's not the exact margin so 26 times 12.5 equals boom 325 pi is 0 0.95 minus 237.5 that gives us a 71,000 coin profit and then that happens four times then we hit 285 i guess i did hit that number uh so uh what's worth what's your worth um hitting 285 my numbers may be off there all i'm saying is the numbers where you can make like 7,000 coins a uh, or 70 or 35k compared to potentially making 100 to 300k i'd rather do the 100 300 uh pete's not uh the whenever you have approximately a million coins i want you to understand that your investment ratio should be about 10,000 or under and here's why you have 100 transfer spots but you have a million coins if you have 100 transfer spots you can man i would say 80 once with right around a million i always say 80 ones that's uh that's always what uh what i suggest that's kind of my suggestion typically typically of course, of course. I don't know what that means, but I think it's a positive. I think it's a positive vibe, so thank you. <laughs> I've never traded before. I want to start making coins. Anyways, I have 150K. Check my gold comment method out. Check my method out on 50K trading. Uh, it's in the description below. I highly recommend. Uh, wait until Saturday, Sunday, when everybody gets foot chance. Well, typically, those are always going to be good, but you're not going to be able to margin. You're not going to be able to margin as much as the, the gold comments. What's to invest 50 50k my gold common method exactly check it out i'm telling you 100 500k or less you guys should be flipping all day long i started a new account how can i get coins seriously all you need is 400 500 coins you start flipping those gold commons and you can do it exactly check the video in the description 100 i'm telling you i love the train but i hate the game so much see um i'm with you 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 but to the 500k I, I i never would do a pack opening that's just not me that's not me leo i really appreciate you in the comments bro i love you in the comments there you appreciate appreciate it. guys that's uh that's a reply to comments for <laughs> and just watched the foot tw the 24 hour update on the stuff on reply to comments guys we got a foot trading tutorial series coming out soon i've already filmed three episodes i've tried to do some edits on it but man is it exhausting and so i'm trying to get to about 10 episodes before i release it that way you can guys go from one to the next to the next to the next and just continuously consume it it's about market equilibrium it's about maximizing your output it's about pushing to be a better trader and how to find those deals daily it's it's a little bit of actual american economics combined with fifa and just how i kind of perceive the market and bulls and bears and all the vocabulary all that type of stuff so check that out soon but guys uh make sure you guys click the next video if you haven't seen today's episode as you guys know my name is john sims we will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode thanks for watching